January 10th, 2022. It is the 92nd day of school. Uh, my name is Mr. Butcher. It is my job to keep you guys safe so that you can show us how excellent you can be. Hopefully, if you left your average at home or on the bus, and you are ready to have a respectful and responsible day. Speaking of responsible, responsible just means doing your job with a smile on your face and give it perfect effort. Our first responsibility is to be ready to show respect for the rights that we have in this country and at our school. We do this by daily saying the Pledge of Allegiance, our school pledge, as well as doing a moment of silence. When we do this, we want to make sure that we stop what we're doing, stand up tall, put our hands over our hearts like this. We want to say the pledge loudly, clearly, and with pride. If you guys would please stand for the pledge and remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please remain standing for the Kennedy School Pledge. I pledge myself as a Kennedy Dragon to be ready for the day ahead of me. I'll be respectful of myself, my teachers, and all others I meet throughout the day. I promise to be responsible for myself, my actions, and my learning. I'll work my hardest to be the best dragon I can be. Another responsibility that we have, responsible is doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort, is to try to keep each other safe by slowing down the spread of germs. We can do this by frequently washing our hands. When we wash our hands, we want to use soap and water. If we can't get access to soap and water, an alcohol-based hand sanitizer will work fine. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we're getting all parts of our hands, the palms of our hands, the backs of our hands, our fingertips in between our fingers, our wrists and our thumbs. When we wash our hands, we want to make sure that we are doing it for at least 20 seconds. Let's model what good hand washing looks like right now. Let's get our palms of our hands. Two, three, four, five. Get the back of your hand. Two, three, four, five. Get the back of your other hand. Two, three, four, five. Get in between your fingers. Two, three, four, five. Get your fingertips. Two, three, four, five. Get your other fingers. Now that we have done our um, pledges, we've done our moment of silence, we've washed our hands, it's now time to be, now we are ready, being in the right place at the right time with the right stuff, to show respect, treat others the way we want to be treated for those that have birthdays today. Happy birthday to Dominic Armster, who's eight years old. Happy birthday to Alea Castro uh, Alcantara, who's eight years old. Happy birthday to Toby Yane, who's six. And happy birthday to Zariah Armster, who is five. We'll make sure you guys get your birthday right. next responsibility, doing your job with a smile on your face and giving perfect effort, is to make our lunch choice. Today's lunch choice, chicken sandwich, lettuce, tomato, and pickle, tri-tater hash browns, and fruit swirl sherbet. If you don't want the chicken filet sandwich, you can always get yogurt and muffin, or you can get PB&J. One of our goals this year is to improve our vocabulary along, as, along with our writing skills. And we do this through our picture of the week. Here's our picture for this week. Um, today, you're just looking at it. You're just looking at it, see what you see. Um, and then on Tuesday, we're going to ask for nouns, persons, places, or things. We're going to ask for uh, verbs on Wednesday. Those are the words that show action. We're going to ask for adjectives and adverbs on Thursday, those describing words. And then on Friday, we're going to ask for prepositional phrases. Or you can just write your story and build off of it each and every day. Uh, it becomes a great writing activity, creative writing activity as well. So today, just look at your picture, brainstorm some ideas of what you're going to do for this week. We're adding something new to our morning announcements, uh, and it starts today. We're going to have a math.
problem of the week. We're going to show you the problem um, each day and we're going to give you a week to answer it. Uh, we're going to do these. There's going to be three each week. One will be a kindergarten and first grade one. One will be a second and a third grade one. And one will be a fourth and a fifth grade one. You're going to um, submit your answers on the uh, whiteboard that I sent you and I'll put the link to the whiteboard on on our uh, pictures as well so here we go you can if you're in fifth grade you can do all of them if you're in first grade you can try to do all of them as well but there's a kindergarten one a first grade one a kindergarten and a first grade one a second and a third grade one and a fourth and a fifth grade one remember when you do your work when you put in your answers show your work all right here's our kindergarten and first grade question for this week Miss Goodman is missing five buttons on her jacket. How many ways can you use red and blue buttons to finish her jacket? List all the different ways and submit your answer onto the whiteboard with the link on the screen. All right, now it's time for our second and third grade question. Mr. Butcher bought two pieces of gum for 79 cents. He used only coins and gave exact change list as many possibilities of coin combinations he could have given to pay for his gum. Put your answer on the uh, whiteboard with the link on the screen. It's time for our fourth and fifth grade problem of the week. The hat Mr. Nooper bought was three times the cost of the one Mr. Vickers wears. Mr. Vickers hat cost $25. If Mr. Nooper paid for his hat with a hundred dollar bill, how much change would he get back? All right, put, submit your answers on the whiteboard um, with the link on the screen. All right, it's time for our morning message. Our morning message is on caring, positive attitude, and smiles. When you look around, you see that all humans are unique. No two people are exactly alike. It's truly amazing. Despite all these differences, we human beings have many things in common. For example, we all know how it feels to hurt, we all want to be loved, we all laugh, we all cry, we all succeed, and we all fail. One of the most special things that we have in common, regardless of our differences, is our ability to brighten the world with a smile. After all, everyone smiles in the same language. From now on, be generous with your smiles. With, some, with something to think about on Mr. Butcher, make today your masterpiece or not. Remember that choice is yours. We say that responsibility is doing your job with a smile on your face, giving perfect effort. We say that because that smile shows that you have the right attitude, and it also shows you that you are, are caring about what you are, and it just makes everyone else feel better. Be generous with your smiles. All right, we do not have a mandatory mask mandate, but we do ask you to wear your mask on the bus. You are required to wear you on the bus. And there's some class, now with the new protocols, uh, there are some students that are at school because they've been exposed and they need to wear their mask to help keep them safe as well as others. So if you're one of those people, let's go ahead and show you what it look, looks like when you wear your mask the right way. Put it on over your nose, your mouth, and your chin. Make sure it's tight around your ear so it doesn't fall down. That is all we have for announcements, so please help me. Me and your teachers keep you safe. That is our job. And your job is to help us keep you safe. And you can help us by being a ready, respectful, and responsible student who is focused on graduating in the year. Because when you are a ready, respectful, and responsible student focused on graduation, you are, are boldly committed to student success. success. I love you very much, Harry. For our read aloud of the day, today's book is The Grinny Granny Donkey. The author is Craig Smith. That means they, they wrote the words. The illustrator is Katz Cowley. That means that's the person that drew the pictures. As I read, I'm going to try to model what good readers do. Read fluently uh, at a good pace. Not too fast, not too slow, and read the words correctly. Also, too, this is a great time for you to practice what good readers do as they're reading. You guys are going to be listening. It's a fiction book, so listen for the uh, characters, who or what the story is about. The setting, where and when the story is taking place, and the sequence of events, what happens first and next and last. And then also, too, ask yourself, okay, why, what happened? What, what do you think is going to happen next? Why did it happen? How did it happen? 
ask yourself those because we want you to understand what you're reading. So here we go, the Granny Granny Donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. This is going to repeat a lot. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She was a clunky donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it. She was a clunky, a donkey, cl drinky, clunky <laughs> donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, and fall asleep in the afternoon sun. She was a zorky, donkey, drinky, clunky donkey. There was an old, uh, oh, there was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep on the afternoon sun, then go for walks with her jewelry on. She was a clinky clanky, zorky, donkey, drinky, clunky, donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on a heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it and fall asleep the afternoon sun and go for walks with her jewelry on, and she always dressed smartly. She was a swanky, clinky, clanky, zorky, donkey, drinky, clunky, donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her feet teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew and dunk her biscuits in it fall asleep in the afternoon sun, and go for walks with her jewelry on, dress smartly, and she played the, her banjo to relax. She was a plunky plinky, swar <laughs> swanky, clinky clanky, zonky, donkey drinky, clunky donkey. <laughs> there was a sweet donkey who lived on a heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the, in the afternoon sun, go for walks with jewelry on, dress smartly and play her banjo to relax. But if she hadn't had a visit from her family in a while, she would sometimes get grumpy and cranky. She was a cranky, plunky, plinky, swanky, clinky, clunky, clarky, clinky, clanky, zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky donkey. There was a sweet donkey who lived on the heath. She was so funny with her false teeth. Hee-haw! But her teeth kept falling out. She loved to sip her favorite brew, dunk her biscuits in it, fall asleep in the afternoon sun, go for walks with jewelry on, dress smartly, play her banjo to relax, Sometimes she got grumpy and cranky. But when her son, Wonky, turned up with her cute granddaughter's dinky, that cranky, gran cranky granny donkey got so many cuddles and kisses that she couldn't get her smile off her face for weeks. She was a granny granny, plunky, plinky, swanky, clinky, clanky, zonky, donkey, drinky, clunky, donkey. There was a grinny granny donkey who lived on the heath. She smiled so much you could see her false teeth. The grinny granny donkey.